Hey y'all, this is Jamie with Out of Bounds with Jamie and Abby, presented by Ashley. And on today's episode, we have Shannon Myers, who is the CFO of the Tennessee Titans. Um, she's an incredible young woman. She's young, 30, 34, 34, younger than both of us, and she's a CFO. Uh, this episode is so inspiring for young women yes. um, in any industry. She's really like broken down some barriers. Yes. She's in a male-dominated industry, and um, it was good. Yeah, was her good advice episode. to the young women was absolutely incredible. Yeah, this is going to be a great episode. I feel like I'm a little bored tonight. I feel like I could use some fun. I will take over the city, yeah, baby. Fall on my lead, everybody get ready. All my girls are with me tonight. Let's turn it up now. Shannon, I'm so excited to have you on today's podcast. Just a thrill to get to know you and your love for our team and just all the things. Yes. Thank you for having me, ladies. This is this is fun. Like I just told you, this is my first podcast ever. I love so that. I'm looking know. forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> We're happy to invite you. We're also in Shannon's office for those of you watching, which is so cute. She has all the the cute plants. Yep. <laughs> Trying to spruce it up a little bit. So Shannon, you are a senior vice president and CFO of the Tennessee Titans. I am. Tell us how this happened because you're 34. Everyone that we've talked to about you it raves about you and your mentorship. And so we're really excited to hear all about your story. Wow. Well, thank you for that intro. That's, I'm very grateful to even be in this position. I'm, I'm very lucky. And I mean, it's a lot of people that have kind of helped me get here for sure. I'm starting my second season, actually. So relatively new to the role, entering the second season, which is a lot of fun. Never would have thought if you would have told me a year and a half ago that this is where I would have been, I would have never guessed it. So life can come at you fast. And, you know, a lot goes to relationships and hard work and very grateful to, to be yeah. here in this role. Cool. So where did you tell us like a little bit of your background? Where did you grow up? How did you make your way to Nashville? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm from Michigan. Okay. I grew up in Portage, Michigan, so which is right outside of Kalamazoo, southwest Michigan, about two hours from Chicago. And uh, it's where my parents were from. So I grew up with all four grandparents. I have two sisters, oh, wow. so I am the baby oh, of the family. Two, that's how I am. You have three? You yeah. have, there's three there's, girls? Yeah, I'm the youngest of three girls. And y'all are about the same age, And right? we're both accounting majors. Oh, that's uh, right. We love numbers. I know. And you're so. this, are you this, you're 35? I'm 35. Yes. So y'all yeah, yeah. are the same age. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Jamie, you can leave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we need to be friends. Yes. We definitely See <laughs> Really, we grew up playing sports. My dad was a football coach and oh, played nice. football in college. He played at Western Michigan, and then my mom played tennis at the University of Florida. So came from a sports background. Oh, awesome. And you played softball, correct? I did. Yep. Oh, that's yep. awesome. So I played a lot of different sports growing up, and all my sisters did, but all ended up playing Division One softball. So oh, wow. very grateful oh, wow. for that. Yeah. Athletic I, family. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Lots of hard work. Lots of hard work, that's yeah. for sure. I played at Western Kentucky University, which okay. is in Bowling Green, about an hour north of here. Yeah. And then, you know, from there at Western, I majored in accounting and didn't really know much about accounting at all. Yeah. I really like numbers. Uh -huh. I really like math, kind of that analytical brain. But in high school, there was a teacher that taught accounting as an elective. And I really liked the teacher. I didn't oh, know wow. anything about the oh. subject. And that kind of got me into it. So yeah. majored in accounting. And while I was at school, I met my husband. So he played baseball. Okay. okay. So he was on the baseball team at the time. And I was on the softball team. And after graduation, we moved down to Nashville. Wow. So is he... Is he from Michigan as well? He's from Tennessee. So he kind oh. of was the, he is from Tennessee. He was the Tennessee connection. Of he okay. got, kind of kept me down here from in Nashville? the South. He's from East Tennessee. Okay. So he's from Townsend, Tennessee. Okay. Pretty small town. John's West. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's West. Just kidding. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> It's remember, a long remember state. north, it's a long south, state. east, west. Oh, we. Oh, oh, we. <laughs> That's how I remember west and east. Oh, it says we. Oh, That's good. have you never known that? No. I do never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> <laughs> That is good Anyone else? Okay, producers it's, are saying yes. I'm, okay. That's, <laughs> I've my never my heard first that grader before. is doing that right now. Okay, never well, eat soggy waffles. Listen, so I am. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, I've always saw we. <laughs> I'll do that too. There now. you go. Learning uh, something new. So, yeah. so oh, my, cool. hus my husband's from, from East Tennessee, but you know, I told him that we, we would stay in the South, but I really like Nashville. So moved uh. here right after I graduated. I started with a public accounting firm. Ernst & Young, or EY. So I was with them for a little over 10 years. Oh, that's a long um, time. Which that is a long time. It was a long time. Wow. Yeah. Were you in audit or tax? I was in audit. Audit, okay. Yep. I was in audit, so audited a lot of companies here in Nashville. Healthcare was our primary. 
I did mm-hmm. one yeah. audit season at Ernst & Young did when you? I graduated. Yeah. We have way more in I common know, we than really I thought. Do. Yes. And really? then a local bank. Bye. Like, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jamie, I, know. I love you too. I, I love you too. So I was almost a career Ernst & Younger until wow. yeah. when I was there, we mainly did healthcare and yeah. like a Shurian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still do a Yeah. Nice. Um, so did, are the Titans part of that? Audit? So the Titans were one of my clients. So it was oh. really interesting. I was primarily in healthcare, but when I, I rolled on to this engagement, and so I was the executive on the Titans audit for three seasons, oh, and nice. really just kind of built relationships, understood That's the amazing. business, and when this role became available, I, I received a call of, would I be interested? Oh, wow. And so they sought you out. Yeah. Was, Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very lucky, very uh, shocked. Wow. Sh- I'll tell you, I got off the phone, and I said, what just happened? <laughs> Oh my oh, gosh. Pinch um, me moment. Yes. Wow. So I came in, interviewed with all the other executives. Uh-huh. Burke Nyhill is our CEO. Uh-huh. He's incredible. And our whole executive leadership team is incredible. Wow. So really went through the interview process. And, and now here we are today, which is just crazy how quickly life can change. Yes. yes. So, yes. Wow. So mm-hmm. that, and that was only two years ago, you said. It was. So in, I started in March of last year. Oh, Mm -hmm. what? It's crazy. That's cool. But what's so cool, and I remember being at Ernst Young and how you kind of would go start working for the company that Mm -hmm. you audited because it's hard to be like a career public and like public firm. It's challenging. Yeah. It's a grind. But it's It's nice. You already know the people, you know Mm -hmm. the books, the ins and outs. So that's like such a nice transition for you. Yes. That's awesome. And Mm -hmm. I think it's so amazing the way you actually became an accountant. It's not that you dreamed about. It's a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, people talk all the time yeah. about teachers being influences yeah. and does your teacher know this? She does. I still stay in contact <gasps> with her. Well, we're, we're Facebook friends now. Aww. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Miss Meyer. Her, she was Miss Perkis at the time. And when I actually got this job, uh-huh. she was so excited for me. So I told her that I, w- sh- I needed to bring her whole family down. She's got a little boy and a girl. And uh-huh. I told him I'd bring him to a Titans game. Oh, so that's amazing. I, I would love to bring it all full circle. So yeah, she was, she was incredible. She's who introduced me to accounting. That's amazing. Cause neither of my parents, my my dad was a high school teacher uh-huh. and football coach, and then my mom was a stay-at-home mom, uh-huh. and she taught tennis lessons and camps and things like that, but neither of them were business-focused, yeah. mm-hmm. so I, you know, wow. it's, it's crazy. Abby, I, how did you know that you liked numbers and wanted to get into that My accounting? sister was doing it, and I was like, I'll probably own my own business one day. I should probably know the numbers part of it. Gotcha. And I didn't know what it, what it would yeah. be, but so I just sort of went with you it. just knew it yeah. yeah and it's a good major like if you understand i, I don't know in my yep. college career it was like if you can understand accounting and do it like do it because it's kind of hard and then you know you can yep. kind of go into any other area of business mm-hmm. it is so true it's a yeah. great place to if you like business in general just to mm-hmm. get your footing because when you understand how a company makes money and spends money yeah right. I and mean, that's that's the whole point of the business is making money and then what do you spend it on so well that's yeah. what i think but you'd be surprised how many businesses there are that make no money and that's they're like true. i run this amazing business i'm like do you make any money they're like no i'm like because yeah. i spend <laughs> all my money yes. yeah. no, I'm like, expense management yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. absolutely oh my gosh okay so how have you found time in your 12 to 13 year career to have three children Ooh. and three boys i have three how boys. different being raised with girls oh my gosh it was so different and what yes. are the ages so seven and then five so he's in preschool. He'll start kindergarten this year. Okay. And then a two-year-old. Oh, so wow. he's in preschool as well. So. Whoa. Yes. Yeah, seven, five, Very and busy. two. They are wild. <laughs> they are so busy. They are just, boys in general are different beings. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. things that they think to do and the <laughs> things that, I mean, they just run full speed at everything. Yeah. You know, instead of like, how can I sit on this couch? It's how can I run as fast as I can and jump up on the couch and jump over <laughs> yeah. it? If how does not, this even cross your not mind? like death possibilities it's not fun yes it is <laughs> it is wwe wrestling in our house Jeez. at all times but i don't know if it's fun yeah it's uh, totally different than two yeah. girls <laughs> i don't know if i could do that <laughs> yeah yes because yes, you've know. got two girls and then you yes. have a boy and a girl uh, yes okay yeah mm-hmm. yeah so i but being raised with sisters when i found it we did like a little it was during COVID. i was pregnant so we did like a little pop like the canon thing and yeah. it was blue and i was like oh <gasps> <laughs> I don't know about boys. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Yes. And it's, it's definitely, I he's know. very sweet, but I'm, he's only one. Like, okay. we're, we're going to get to the WWE. Can you uh, see a difference right now? Like, what he's Jessa getting, was? Um, yeah, he's calmer than her, but he's, he's getting a little sassy. So we're, we're going to mm-hmm. see how it goes. Well, they say that, you know, the early years, boys are harder because they're so wild and they're so mm-hmm. exhausting. But then when they flip, you know, teenage girls, I was once a teenage girl, yeah. oh. you know? 
That's that's the hard part is teenage boys don't really care about much and teenage girls there's a lot of drama so I just yes. have to like survive through. to those years <laughs> hopefully we'll see then it'll drive you crazy because they won't talk to you about everything probably <laughs> I know that is so <laughs> true I know. who do you like I know no. well, well I always knew I wanted to have three kids because I come from a family of three both of my sisters actually have three kids oh, too do they? so there's nine grandkids of all of them so when the first one was a boy that was okay second one I was like oh my gosh I have two but I know that I might have like a third chance here and then when the third <laughs> are you kidding me you're like but i'm not going for four i'm a boy mom i'm yeah. not going for four we are good we so are do happy. they have boys and girl mixed or they have mixtures yeah. i'm the only one that has three, three boys, boys. Mm-hmm. yeah so with the nine grandkids the first three were girls and the <gasps> last six are boys oh my so, gosh mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. a lot i know it is but it's wow. fun it's fun when we get together and getting yeah. to see they're all close in age so it's a lot so of fun. is your husband's job a, like a little more flexible or what is what goes on uh, there? It's it's hard. We both work. Um, yeah. So he's an area sales manager for Schneider Electric. Oh, so, and so not more flexible. Nope. He, <laughs> we both have, we're, we're both lucky that we have flexibility. You know, but he travels more than I do. So mm. I don't travel mm. a whole lot. I'll go to a away game every now and then mm. in the season, and maybe in the off season I'll have some things. But for the most part, I don't travel. He travels one or two days a week or every other week because he's got different states that he manages Mm -hmm. wow so it's it's a little exhausting yeah that's a lot yeah but you know we we make it work that like we're both flexible in that you know if if something comes up at school you know I can work remotely he can work remotely we make it work that's great we're a team I could not do this without him that's for sure yeah yeah Mm -hmm. well tell us a little bit something about the mentorship that you started here yeah. I'm so interested because we know producer Ashley is one of your... She's incredible. <laughs> yes. She's my official mentee, <laughs> yeah, which is it. so fun. Yeah. I mean, what's interesting is at the Titans, our whole executive leadership team, we call it, there's, it's Burke Nihil, our CEO, and mm-hmm. then his six direct reports. We're all relatively new. So yeah. we've all started in the last two to three years. And so it's kind of this fun defining moment of what is our culture and what do we want to do? Yeah. And mentorship is so important. So we were all just brainstorming a couple months ago and thought we should do a mentorship program. So it's, this is year one of it. And what it was, was we asked for applications throughout the company, just kind of had to apply. What are your, what are your uh-huh. goals? What do you want to do? And then seven applicants got picked. So they're paired with each of the members of our executive leadership yeah. team. So no, that's yeah. incredible because yeah. that's why whenever we, before we came on air, I yeah. was like, okay, I know you're more than just a CFO. So it's amazing to know that within the Titans, yeah. cause I don't know the business side yeah, and that they have more than just mm-hmm. you come to your office and run numbers, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's yes. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're, we're very fortunate and trying to build a culture cause it is a unique business where mm-hmm. we've got the football side and that culture is, is what it is. And our front office side has, you know, we're, we're trying to mesh the two cause we are one company, Yeah, but it is, you know, it's a little different at the same time. So we'll see how year one goes, Ashley. <laughs> Yeah. excited about it and really it's just it's informal it's an opportunity to to give back and to share I had plenty of mentors throughout my career who've helped me be where I am and mm-hmm. all it is is I'm you know it's mm-hmm. just listening it's listening and providing a perspective I don't tell people what to do it's just I'm a listening ear and gotcha. I can give perspective from the you know 12 years that I've been doing this mm-hmm. so yeah mm-hmm. but That's I think amazing. for executives to be so approachable mm-hmm. and like open door policy it is part of the culture here and it's mm-hmm. not like that everywhere and so it's yeah. like I would applaud you know the titans for making that such a priority yeah because you're not just over finance and accounting right are you over human uh, human resources, resources? Yep. Yep. okay HR. so including myself on the finance team there's nine of us and then on the human resources team there's four of us okay um, so it's kind of a fun that I get to wear both of those hats. Are you our boss? <laughs> yeah, she is. I she think. Is our I boss. think she is. All this time, we I'm thought it was John. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, he's kind of my boss. <laughs> I might have he signed your contracts. Is. Oh, she <laughs> did. Oh, my. oh, yes. First time meeting. <laughs> Welcome oh to But it's so fun what you guys are doing. It's so incredible to, it you know, fun. a couple of years ago, we would have never, ever thought to do this for mm. the Titans. And, you know, you came with this idea. And, I mean, just the, the reach that it's had. And it's just something different and fun. And, yeah. you know, meeting you know, different women. It's just such an incredible thing that you're empowering other women to share their stories so that they can then empower other women. So the ripple effect of it is incredible. Do people uh, with being only 34 years old, being the CFO of a major NFL team, 
when you tell people what you do for a living, do they look at you like, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like, do they, because it has to shock a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it does. I mean, I, it's, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I mean, mm-hmm. I really, I, I'm, I'm honestly pretty private, but you know, I, I, I love, I'm very passionate about the things that I do like to talk about, like uh-huh. mentorship and coaching and building in this incredible team and, and all of those types of things. So I'm just very grateful to, to be in this position. Like I said, That's I never amazing. thought that I, I would be. So it is kind of fun when people ask me what I do and I get yeah. to tell them because yeah. yes, I kind of get some of that wait, you're, that's what you do? Yeah. Because it definitely is a, it's a, it's male dominated for sure. And, you know, I'm, I'm just lucky that I've, I've had a lot of experiences and a lot of hard work to get me here. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I said, wait, they reached out to you. I, I was legitimately like surprised and impressed yeah. that they reached out to a young woman yeah. to run the financial side and plus more. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's very it's, impressive. It's very true. So when I first started, I came on actually as the technically I was the vice president of finance. Okay. But I was in the same role. It was just kind of let's, you know, let's make let's sure make sure this yeah. is working out, you know. Yeah. But I got promoted to CFO last September. So wow. which was not expected. I did not oh, think really? it was going to go that fast by any means. But again, very, very grateful for our team and for Burke and our other executives. It's it's incredible. And Amy, oh. Miss Amy oh. is awesome. Isn't she mm-hmm. amazing? Yes. We are just, we're so, we're just just such a different yeah. NFL team than other NFL teams. That's, no, it's true. I was going to ask, having Amy mm-hmm. as the majority owner, do you think that really plays a part in like female like hiring and making sure that it's more balanced? Because I can't imagine all teams, NFL teams, are as open. No. I mean, we are a very unique NFL team and a very incredible mm-hmm. one at that. Amy empowers the, her leaders to 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 lead yeah Um, and she's got opinions where she does and and other times she lets us do what we feel like is best for the team and it's it's been working out. that's amazing um she's you know she's hands-on when she needs to be and hands-off when she doesn't and she she you know has faith in us and it's it's really cool to say that I work for an NFL team that's owned by a woman really cool so cool Mm -hmm. she truly is I mean I tell people that all the time I'm like and I I tell her that all the time you know I know I finally met her at the JDRF did you really uh, yeah, Isn't she, she was great? everything everyone had She's said. very approachable. Yeah. Like you wouldn't think Mm-mm. that you could approach an owner of NFL team or and not even just that, just a woman that is mm-hmm. so, what is successful the word? Like, successful. And, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It just, it can be an intimidating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She's not. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I think being a woman CFO is intimidating at times, but to be an owner, there's definitely not many yeah. uh, own, female right. owners that she's, she's really running the ship, you know, she really she's is. doing it. So it, it's yeah. been fun. It's been fun to, to have her leadership for sure. And she's empowered us to do things that we want, like the yeah. mentorship program or other things, you know, she's kind of said, you know, go for let, it. Yeah. Let's go for it. I love so. it. So yeah. how do the boys handle you working for an NFL team? Do they get it yet? Because they're so young. Yeah, my uh, my oldest my oldest two definitely do because uh-huh. they now go to the games. It's funny now. I think this is why God gave me three boys. Is yeah. because of this role. Because yeah. before I was like, why do I have yeah. three boys? Oh my gosh! <laughs> but mommy has a cool job now. Yes. Mommy's got a cool job. So it's fun to kind of see them grow up in this organization. I think, but hopefully having them stay humble and mm-hmm. grateful because. My life growing up was totally different. I never went to a professional sporting event. Yeah. I never went to a concert. I never was in a suite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So trying to let them know when they come, it's like this normal. is this is not normal. Yeah. So they're very very lucky that yeah. they get to do those things. But it was funny when my first got the job and I was on the phone with somebody and I was in the car and my oldest could hear us. I was talking about someone on our team that's named Ryan and I got off the phone and my oldest said, "Were you talking to Ryan Tannehill?" Oh. <laughs> I was like, "Yes, mommy knows him." Yes. <laughs> Yes, all the time. It was not. It was our yeah. accounting manager. Uh, accounting director. Well, it's funny that like even I had to learn that the sports side and business side are very separate. Like yeah. I didn't really realize. You kind of mm-hmm. just think like it's one big team. Yeah, but, um, yeah. It it's... also makes so much sense once you're sort of more involved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. We try to integrate where we can and where yeah. that makes sense. But sometimes our schedules are are a little different, mm-hmm. you know. But we are all one team, and we're all under Amy. So yeah, yeah, that's right. I know. So so the boys the boys enjoy it. They definitely. Yeah. I love they, it. they enjoy the perks of it and it's fun to fun you know being a working mom 
and then being able to share this. This is why I work so hard. And this is why, you know, they, they get to see me and they get to see what, you know, a, a hardworking female does. And yeah, so hopefully totally. then I can, you know, I really wanted girls to empower girls, but now I get boys to show boys that girls can do anything boys can do. Yeah, we say exactly that in our house right. a lot, that girls can do anything boys can do. So, yeah, yeah. I know. What's your coaching advice for females in the workforce coming up having children? I mean, it's so hard. I can't even believe you like had three pregnancies in the la- you know, in your yeah. career. I mean, it's it's a lot, you know. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot. I would say life is messy and life's not perfect and that's okay. We get caught up in this terminology of work-life balance. Right. And I don't think you're really ever in balance. No one's in perfect balance mm-hmm. at all times. That's just the not the perfect world we, we live in. We were just talking about that. Yeah. On the, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. it's you know, where what I tell young women or women that are thinking about having kids or have kids is it's work-life integration. Like Mm -hmm. you're integrated. And what I tell them is there's kind of four pillars. There's you're a wife, you're a mom, you're you're a career, and then self-care. Like those are four (laughs) buckets and you're never going to be in perfect balance. But you don't want anyone to get too out of balance Mm -hmm. that you can't bring it back. Because there's going to be times that you're killing it in your career and then you miss a baseball game. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be other times where, you know, you haven't even talked to your husband because you're, you know, going, going, going meetings all week. But you need to stop and have that date night or you need to stop and make sure that you make two games next week Mm -hmm. or all the games next season or things like that. You just, Mm -hmm. you kind of are constantly pulling those levers right? and making sure one doesn't get too far out of balance. You can't bring it back, Mm -hmm. but it's all about kind of integrating those four is what I have found has really helped me. Do you ever get a sense of mom guilt? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, mom guilt is so real. Really, my job is relatively flexible, though, that I try not to miss games. I yeah. mean, my, my oldest, we're in baseball right now and flag football right now. And I can, it's okay to communicate to my team or my boss that mm-hmm. I need to leave it for. I need mm-hmm. to go make a game. And if I need to, you know, answer an email at night because I did that, that's totally yeah. fine. That's the integration that's of it's actually all integrated. And they want me to be successful and I want yes. them to be successful. And it's about communicating because people can't read your mind. Yeah, they right. don't know if you're struggling or what you need so unless you tell them. Yeah. And, you know, your team, they you want to support working moms so much. And that's why it's so important to have more of them yeah. right, in the organization, too, because you get it. Like mm-hmm. you get what you're going through because yeah. mom guilt is so real. Yeah. And the people that, you know, they see, I, oh, somebody has it all or it's mm-hmm. a perfect life. It's not. It's messy. It's yeah. messy yeah. and it's exhausting at times. But, you know, putting it in perspective, it's, you know, it's. It, yeah. it, it can be beautiful. Right. Yeah. Also probably coming from public accounting where you're expected to work. I mean, mm-hmm. I would assume more hours maybe yeah. than here. I don't yeah. know. During busy season, at yes. least it was my experience. Yes. I mean, yeah. you were, I was working 14 hour days, yeah. you know, and then you'd go to dinner with the team and do it all over. I mean, mm-hmm. it's yes. crazy. Yeah. So you're probably well equipped to handle, you know, the, the time. I think I just know it's, I'm always exhausted. You yeah. know, there's like, oh, wait, what is this rest thing? No. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't sit down. No. No. But my husband, I mean, we're a team. Like yeah. I said, we are 50 yeah. 50 in everything. He cooks dinner, I cook dinner. He cleans, I clean. I mean, yeah. we do everything 50 50. We, on Sundays, we'll we kind of get to. together yeah. and we'll say, okay, what games are this week? What practices are this week? Who's got a work yeah. dinner or a happy hour or mm-hmm. coffee? And then we just plan it out and we help each other because we don't have any family here that's the other yeah. hard part is yeah. we, we are kind of vips in our babysitting service yes. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine because yeah. the, the kids they're the kids are very adaptable I would so do say. they all go to a school or preschool right now so my oldest is in first grade so he's in yeah. public school but then my other two are in daycare right oh, nice. now and okay. it's in nolensville we're down yeah. in mm-hmm. nolensville so yeah, that's they're all, that area. We're all kind of in our little bubble there's yeah. a lot of titans people in nolensville yeah it's yes. a great yeah. area we love it there's a lot of young families mm-hmm. you know it's a it's a, it's yeah. a lot of fun we yeah love it down there yeah i grew up in brentwood so we had a ton of Nolansville friends and yeah. stuff because they're I mean, they didn't really have their own schools right then, and, you know, until recently. And yeah. now there are four elementary schools. Whoa, that's just crazy. crazy. I think there was one yeah. when I was growing yeah. up. And a brand mm-hmm. new high school, too. And a brand right? new high school. Yeah. It's awesome. And probably yeah. in 10 more years when my oldest is in high school, there might even be another <laughs> high school. I mean, Wild. It's, it's it's growing, but it's yeah. it's good down there. We, we really enjoy it down that's there a awesome. lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one of the things, and, and they may have to cut me out because I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but the maternity leave. Yeah. Like you're trying to implement, I, um, explain that to us. Yes, I did implement in paternity leave. Oh, actually. what is it? Yes. Tell us. You well, did. Well, that's what's fun about kind of being over HR and also 
Amy empowering us to make decisions uh-huh. and to kind of see and Burke empowering us as well. So when I got here, we didn't have the maternity leave. Not at all? No, it was FMLA. So you got like your short term disability leave and it was not paid at 100 percent. And that was what, what you got, wow. which is just, it blew my mind. You were no like, way. um, reading yes. my contract. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm done having kids. Yes. So I'm yeah, good yeah, with this. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> but I, we need more females here. Wow. Like how the heck are we going to get females here if we don't have this? Mm-hmm. Um, and just going through maternity leave three times myself, there is zero shot that I was in any mental state at six weeks to come back with a baby, you know? Right. So we had short-term disability and our FMLA. So you would have six weeks, but it was paid at 60% which is just crazy. You know, I, I talked with Burke and with Amy. And so now it is 12 weeks paid in full, but an extra week on the front end too. Mm-hmm. Cause that oh, was huge nice. for me of, you know, taking a week to just start to disconnect and, yeah. you know, get away with things. So a week before your due date, it starts and then it's on the back end, 12 weeks paid. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. But we need that to have more women. And I would, yeah. you know, I would love eventually to have some even, you know, more generous, but, you know, yeah. from a paternity leave policy, we're not quite there yet. But yeah, it's just we have now over 50 women at the Titans, oh, which wow. is incredible. Wow. Out of how many total? We'll probably be around like 230 okay. employees probably uh-huh. in the year. Yeah. Nice. That's great. It's great. Well, it's really well great. and we have a statistic that uh, Julia gave us Ooh. that only 24 percent of NFL execs are female. Really? I and didn't you're one that. of them. Wow. Isn't that insane? That's in- that is insane. That's crazy. It's so amazing. Yeah, that's a cool stat. I mean, I'm 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 humbled to to be in that category, but we need more. I mean, yes. we need more just because it it helps. Like I said, when you know what somebody's going through, and then also that you can see that example that you can have it all. You know, like yes. I, I feel like. I have this balance right now. It's it's hard and it's messy at times, but I have this. I'm satisfied at work. I'm satisfied at home. I've mm-hmm. got kids. It's mm-hmm. so fun. I love being a mom more than anything in the world. Yeah. And you can do that. Can it's do not it. easy, but you can do it. And you yeah. just totally. need more examples to kind of help mentor you through that and listen to you vent when you need to vent and listen That's to, awesome. you know, kind of help you through those different struggles because they're mm-hmm. so unique. But yeah, we're trying. <laughs> what what's like the top feedback or question you get from people you mentor? Because you do a happy hour with the female. Yeah, females, we started right? a kind of a quarterly. We called it a professional women's network, which is just getting all of our females together and yeah. talking. But I, I think everybody just wants kind of they want that camaraderie. They want mm-hmm. that outlet that we know, you know, moms definitely know what other moms are going through. But women in general kind of know what other women, what yeah. other women are doing and how can we support each other and mm-hmm. rise each other up and so that we can have more women. I think women they a lot of the times they ask me you know like how do you do it all Mm -hmm. right and I'm like this I don't have it all together like do you think this is perfect you know like I I think that everybody everybody thinks that you know the the folks at the top have it all together Mm -hmm. and it's okay it's okay to not know the answer to everything Mm -hmm. or to feel like there's times some days that I have self-doubt and yeah. why am, am, am I, should I be in this meeting? Am mm-hmm. I saying the right thing? That's, that's normal. But mentoring women that, that to how to deal with those, you know, thoughts of self-doubt and things right. like that. Right. So, have yeah. you ever met Dee Patel? I, I've seen her speak at different events, but oh I've never goodness. met her personally. You have at the Hermitage to, Hotel, right? Yes. Yeah. You have got to meet yes. her, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I see y'all both I mean Mm -hmm. being friends Mm -hmm. I would I would love to I would love to meet her I would love to it's it's fun to support other females that are that are you know trying to do their best what is your self-care if you get time working out or working out I love working out yep I got a peloton during (laughs) during covid so that was wonderful I might only get 20 minutes on it a day but that's fine like I get 20 minutes just to kind of you know clear my head journaling I really like like writing things down it's fun my seven-year-old now can like like actually write sentences he doesn't yeah. spell perfectly but he he showed me his journal the other day like he had written down about Aww. his weekend and it was the most adorable thing He's copying ever. mama oh, oh it was so, so sweet. cute That's yes so, so cute. we're gonna i told him we could keep doing that during the summer and things like that working yeah. out's the biggest one yeah. Yeah. yeah just you know exercising getting yeah. sweating trying to get outside <laughs> I also like to garden oh, so nice. flowers you know I just it's it's hard to have a ton of time to do it but this past Mother's Day my uh, kids and I we actually started like a planter box of actual vegetables nice we'll see how that goes what'd you, plant? What'd you plant what's we gonna did survive s- <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the better question Abby. that's the better question <laughs> tomatoes peppers and then like some mint and yeah. cilantro and basil and gotta some get the different herbs. herbs so yes. we'll see it we'll see what actually survives that's amazing here. 
I need to. And it's just a little raised, like a little raised yeah. cedar planter box. So it's not too big. That's yeah. cool. I don't even have the, the, I'm scared. I couldn't do that. I can keep my house plants alive, but if it's like in the sun fully, it's yeah, just I can't done. even do that. I try. So my, my girlfriend saw one of my plants the other day and it was just a, a green plant. <laughs> Very specific. Yes. It was a green plant. It was big and but it was alive. It, it was, was alive. It, well, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's at her house so she can try to revive it. Who was that? Me? Of course. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> She's and the like, other day Jamie. she called me because it still had the um the tag on it of yeah. what it was. I don't yeah. even know what it was, but she called me the other day and she was like, Jamie. The, this is saying that it's like the hardiest plant is very hard to kill. <laughs> How did you manage this? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so, yeah. I know. Oh, well, it's it, hard. It, it is hard. It's hard to find time. Like that's the hard part. But you know, trying to teach my kids, they each have a plant in their room now. Oh, they do. So they have one little plant. And it's funny, oh. my middle child, I let him go to the store and pick out his own plant. It was the most outrageous. It was this like <laughs> succulent that had this huge vine growing oh, of up. Of course. It. <laughs> totally my, totally my middle child. I was yeah. like, this is what you want in your room? He was so excited about it. It was very unique. It was a very unique plant. Yes. Just like him. So Aww. he was super pumped. And he waters it every Sunday. So Aww. he gets all excited about it. It's so funny. The other day, Bailey, my youngest, was in Taylor's room, all yeah. oldest. And she all of a sudden pulled this plant from underneath her nightstand. Yeah. And she goes, Taylor, when was the last time you watered this? <gasps> and she goes, oh, I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Underneath oh, her no. nightstand. She's had that plan forever, too, because oh I remember gosh. when she bought it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. She's my kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you might be a little alike. Okay, I don't know why. This is a question coming to mind. What did your sisters end up doing? My oldest sister is a teacher. Nice. Um, so she's a high school teacher. She teaches leadership and health education. And then my middle sister is an engineer. So she's a civil oh, wow, engineer. Wow. So my oldest is still in Michigan. And then my middle sister is in Denver. Wow. And I'm here in Nashville in finance. So we're all wow. different. We're totally yeah. all different. Yeah. Do y'all get to see each other often? We try to get together at a minimum at least at once a year, but mm -hmm. more like two or three times a year. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. Just for all the cousins, all the kids to get together. Yeah. We FaceTime all the time. The cousins love to see other cousins yeah. and mm -hmm. things like that. Can oh. you all stay in the same house or is it too sort many of. people? <laughs> we're That's how I grew up. And like we never, yeah. you know, we never were used to elaborate things. So we go back to my dad's house. House, and so my sister has a camper. She'll park the camper in the driveway and all the kids want to sleep in the camper. Yes, of so there'll be like six kids piled into the camper and then they have a four bedroom house. But so we'll be just like piled on top of yeah. each other. That's um, fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's wow. totally fun. So, cool. you know, we enjoy it. What's your favorite vacation spot? I mean, most of our vacations right now are family related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we just went to Disney actually oh, in uh, March. Land or world? We went to Disney Florida. World down in Florida. Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was exhausting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was very exhausting. <laughs> it it gets better when they get, they get older. Yeah. They yeah. had a blast, though. They had so much fun. They actually had the extended hours one of the nights. Mm -hmm. And so nice. my oldest and I went, we decided we were going to rally Aww. and go back to the park. It was so much fun. We That's rode on wonderful. more rides. We were there until almost one in the morning. That's I kept telling wonderful. him, I kept telling him like, are, are you tired yet? He has a Fitbit and yeah. he really wanted a ton of steps on his Fitbit. <laughs> and he just thought he wanted to stay out past midnight. <gasps> and then every, oh, cool. all of them, they got to pick one gift from Disney and he picked a picture frame and he wanted to get the picture developed of us oh, in like stop. midnight in front of the castle. Oh, oh it melted oh, my heart. That was sweet. the memory he wanted to think of. That's so. amazing. Did you do the Avatar ride? We did. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. I did the same thing and stayed yeah. a little bit later than yes. the little kids with my daughter. And we yes. like waited in all the lines. And it yes. was like, she was not scared of anything. And I was terrified. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's like, she's like, that don't hold my leg. Yeah. That scares me. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it's so cool. It, though. it was oh. it, it was fun. So so we did Disney. We're, we're not like the every year going to no. Disney people. Like, we'll we'll probably give it a couple of years just with the ages of our kids. Yeah. It's a little exhausting. But we did. We had a blast. Like, we had a great time. Probably if I could vacation, that would be something out in nature. I like hiking. Okay. I like being outdoors. East Tennessee, where my husband's family is from, is really beautiful. So just kind of being outdoors with nature is what, what yeah. I enjoy. Do you see them more often since they're closer? Yeah, we see them a, a little bit more often. Yeah. But my husband's mom still works. And so yeah. they're, we're yeah. kind of all balancing busy schedules a little bit. Totally. But it's it's fun. They we, FaceTime is incredible, right? So mm -hmm. we FaceTime 
all the time. Yeah. How did they react whenever they found out you got this job with they being from Tennessee? Yeah, they were very excited for me. Yeah. They were very humbled as well. You know, mm-hmm. they saw kind of all the hard work that I had put in at Ernst & Young and all of those long hours and things. So I think we were all shocked, um, <laughs> but we were all very excited. It was fun to see them as well and be excited and oh, fun for my, my parents too. So Have you yeah. converted your parents into Titans fans yet? Oh, totally. Yeah, <laughs> totally Titans fans. My, my dad is Papa and so Papa always has his Titans hat on. Oh, oh right. yes. And then he came down to a couple of games too. So fun. Yes. Oh. oh yeah. I mean everybody's all on board. I mean everybody all in. my family is very supportive. So we all support each other oh. and so they'll come to a couple of games this season. We always host Christmas here. Oh nice. So because in Michigan we have to do the camper and everything to have our whole family fit up there. We uh-huh. can only do it in the summer because you don't oh, really want to camp yeah. in, <laughs> in the winter. So everybody comes here for Christmas. We've done that the last three or four oh, years. That's fun. So uh, last year they came to the 49ers game. We uh-huh. had a Thursday oh, nice. night football oh, game and it was a blast. And so now this year we've got some other games right around Christmas. So they'll come we too. Should do. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Having a game on Christmas Eve. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I'm so it's excited. Be, yeah. yeah. So no, I feel like I need to do something for it. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting so for sure. Yeah. I'm excited about it. So I know. So, what kind of advice can you give young women out there who are in college, not so sure what to do, or even didn't even have a teacher to guide yeah. them like you did? Yeah. What What kind of advice do you give them? Yeah. I mean, it's finance specific. If they do like numbers or business, I think finance is a great way to start your career. And a lot of, you know, when you look at those executives and companies, a lot of them started in public accounting or started mm-hmm. in something financial. So I think that is a a great place to steer your career but really just finding what your passion is finding yeah. what you're good at and what you enjoy doing because so much of life is yes you want to find something that you're good at and that you can make money at but yeah. also that you enjoy right too and just you know not putting ceilings on it or limits on it that you can do anything you know I would have never dreamed that this is where I would have been now 12 I years ago it. when I was in college yeah and anything is possible with hard work you know I wasn't always the most talented person but I outworked everybody yeah and hard work and building relationships connections you know in college it's not just about school it's also all the other things that are on your plate that you can balance can you balance you know meeting different people or joining is it a sorority or is it athletics Mm -hmm. or is it a part-time job just different things meeting people making Mm -hmm. connections so much of it is you need those technical skills but you need to be a culture fit yeah you you need to be able to hold a conversation with someone and you want to be uh, when we look for hiring people Yes, you need to do the job, but you you need to be that culture fit of are you connected? Do you care? You know, all of those different types of things really, really matter. Yeah, that's amazing. I love it. But I'd argue that's why you got this role and obviously your hard work, but a lot of accountants don't have both sides, right? Like who I went to school with, it's like everyone would be like, you're an accounting major. You're also social. (laughs) I'm like, well, you can be an accounting major and be social, you know? My husband says, you know, he thinks I have a little typewriter, my little keypad and my visor and my pen. Yes. protector like no your we, 10 key yeah. i know <laughs> my little 10 key i know but i do no. love my 10 key though. oh yeah but <laughs> i don't even know what that is <laughs> it's a it's a calculator <laughs> i got, I got one over there it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um i do think that's like part of you know like that's amazing that you have yeah. both sides and that you've nurtured both sides and probably mm. sports and sorority and whatever help that yes. but like yeah that's why you're so good at this role i would assume yeah, yeah. i yeah. mean a lot of it is just you know meeting people and those yeah. connections that you make and i truly i i love love people like what my purpose is 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 empowering people and coaching people you know my family neither of them were in business but my dad was a coach and my mom was a coach and I feel like I'm I'm a coach like I'm here to mentor people and to show them that they can do it and to empower them and I love the quote people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care so when you really pour yourself into people that's when they give it back to you and so I just love doing that that is what fulfills me in my career and and that's the same purpose in my career and also with my boys you know like pouring myself into them and then seeing them come back yeah. and coaching them that's what really kind of brings Aww. me the most joy so and obviously because yeah. you were actually the captain of your softball team in college correct I was I was I was so lucky you yeah. kind of yeah. started that coaching world, world right yes. there yeah I was fortunate my senior year my my teammates voted me captain which I wow. thought that was the coolest part but I mean I faced a lot of adversity in college yes I played the D1 sport but mm-hmm. I was hurt a lot actually mm-hmm. so my freshman year I had shoulder surgery my junior oh, year I had back surgery and oh, my wow. senior year oh, my I gosh. finally thought I had turned a corner and I had like a high ankle sprain that put me out for a couple of weeks so I kept kind Jeez. of like 
you know roadblocks yes I kept but then it made me work that much harder so I would get set back and I would work that much harder and in the time going through that it was so hard and now though that gave me all the perspective of oh I can I can overcome this challenge like yeah I'm gonna get set back but I'm gonna come back Mm -hmm. harder and I'll get set back again and I'll come back harder and you know all those different when you're young, you don't have that perspective of you're just in the moment, right? Like you don't have that perspective of a career or a long life and Mm -mm. you just get so caught up in those things. And Mm -hmm. that's another thing that I mentor young women on is when you've only worked for a year or two years, the the littlest mistake seems huge, right? Mm -hmm. And you just think, oh, this is awful. I, I sent the wrong email or I did the wrong thing. But, you know, when you think of, no, you have like a 20 or 30 year career here. Yeah. There's so much more to it or maternity leave. You know, Mm -hmm. people think I'm going to be gone for three months. How am I ever going to come back? And you think you got 20 or 30 years, that little blip, no one's even going to remember. Like you take that time, you spend that with your kid, you pour Mm -hmm. yourself into that because you can never get that back. Right. But it's a little blip in your career. So just having that perspective, trying to help people see that perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. That's great. We appreciate you for signing yeah. our contract. And <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, you ladies. You are both wonderful women and, oh, and mothers you. as well. And thank this is you. so cool to get to know you more and, and, you know, all the things that you're doing for the Titans and for women in our community. Oh, thank and, you. And all of that. It's, it's so cool to see this continue to build and just so organically as well. I just, I love it. I well, love it. Well, thank you for believing in us. Yeah, for sure. We Absolutely. Had fun, for sure. I know. Okay. Well, we know you're busy, so we're going to let you get back to crunching the numbers <laughs> so that, that John can get paid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do love working with John, too. John's incredible. Yes. We need Jamie's shopping budget healthy. <laughs> Jamie's, got, Jamie's got her own shopping budget now, That's right? True. That's let true. Let me tell you, y'all. A uh, little side note. One this story. is funny. Yes. So for the gala this year, I bought a pair of shoes. And the girls were like, Mom, you going to tell Dad? you going to tell Dad? And I'm like, yeah, of course. I, I don't hide anything from him. That's something I don't believe in. So I'm like, yes, I'll tell Daddy I bought those Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> and then so he's like, why did you need that? And I was like, I have a paycheck. Yes. <laughs> I have a paycheck. I can get these shoes yes. now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, Jamie. He's like, fine. <laughs> Businesswoman. <laughs> Businesswoman. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's incredible. That's and this has all been built organically, too, which is so yes. cool. And so kudos fun. to you both. Well, thank and you. And all the relationships you have and all of the, you know, ripple effect that you're having on so many people as well. Thank it's you. fun thank to I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the support. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me. This has been fun. I feel like I'm a little bored tonight. I feel like I could use some fun. I will take over this city, yeah, baby. Follow my lead, everybody get ready. All my girls.